हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्या लग रहा है मार्केट आर डेली प्रोग्राम ऑन निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एंड यूएसडी एन आर येस्टरडे वी कूडेंट गो लाइव बट सो इन केस आई एम नॉट लाइव ऑन एनी ऑफ दीज डेज यू कैन जस्ट चेक द डेली मार्केट आई पोस्ट दिस एवरी डे समाइम्स बिकॉज ऑफ सम ग्लिच वी आर अन एबल टू पोस्ट द वीडियो येस्टरडे वी हैड अ टेक्निकल ग्लिच बिकॉज विच कूड नॉट बट इवन इफ वी आर नॉट गोइंग लाइव फॉर एनी रीजन द वीडियो कैप्चर डिलाईज इज नॉट लाइव ओके let me just turn that on <clears throat> let me just i think the camera is not live right the the audio is right like oh yeah okay perfect perfect and the audio is live so so in 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 case because of any reason i'm not coming live please do visit this page uh, on sensible you can go to daily market on the top of the tab and <clears throat> it will show you um, uh, our analysis uh, yesterday we could not go live because you know our uh, broadcasting uh, server with uh, one of our uh, brokers was not uh, tied up uh, so they suddenly failed and then you know i couldn't go live because everything got blocked at that bottleneck but any anyway we are live now and let's see what happens so but we had posted the audio today uh, that uh, so i will thank a lot of people in twitter for this i am i'm kind of doing some you know shit posting trolling on twitter and uh, in the process i picked up a lot of info from here and there about a lot of things on uh, market uh, especially the technical levels which i probably earlier overlooked one of them was that 16750 to 16800 as a huge resistance level but once i looked at the chart it was very obvious so we started uh, from friday on we were talking about exercising caution at the level of 16750 to 16800 so our analysis for today was that 16750 to 16800 is a huge resistance and there is a looming federal reserve event <coughs> coming this thursday which could be negative because federal reserve had to has to raise high rates and i don't know how that will go but we are not economists so let's not predict anything 16500 was a six big support on the put side till yesterday um, and uh, <coughs> the reality i mean if you ask me if there are just if you want to stop watching this video right now i'm going to say two things after which you can go one is number one right it is going to be extremely difficult to break 16 750 to 16800 zone it looks like nifty will really struggle to break this level <clears throat> and i'll tell you why <clears throat> if you look at this right <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> last time it was a swing high of <clears throat> nifty this is where the sell off started and now we are testing that swing high again and we got rejection twice second there is a horizontal support here where a window was there from where we have seen nifty bouncing up and down several times <coughs> right <coughs> now if this level of 16800 16750 that level has been so critical there are multiple gaps here there are multiple price rejections here there are multiple bottoms and tops formed here then it is unlikely that that level is going to be broken before a major event right because nobody will want to bet on nifty going above 16800 before fed event right it requ requires some solid news to break that level so i don't usually predict but i'll be very surprised if nifty goes up above 16850 before thursday when fed ka result meeting ka impact comes on india so i don't know if it's good or bad we are not economists but market will do something by reacting to that event right whatever that reaction is that is not going to happen before thursday so if you are trying to buy calls or puts or anything <coughs> before thursday <coughs> especially calls i can pretty much guarantee you that you are going to lose money if you buy a call of 16800 or above before <coughs> thursday right because i don't simply think market is going to break 16800 before thursday it could break on thursday but then the question becomes up abhi se q like a baithoge right so this is my point number one there's a huge resistance at 16800 there's a fed event in on thursday uh, on uh, wednesday night whose result will be felt in india on uh, thursday morning right so these other i mean after this even if you shut this window and go it's completely fine because there's nothing left right in the sense that yaar karna kya hai thursday tak to kuch karna nahi hai and 16800 के ऊपर जाएंगे तब देख लेंगे राइट तब तक तो मतलब शायद शॉर्ट रहने का थर्सडे के बाद अगर 16800 नहीं टूटा एंड नेगेटिव आया तो और भी दबा के शॉर्ट करने का राइट दिस इज माय वन लाइन समरी बट लेट्स डू एनालिसिस एंड फिगर आउट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग नंबर वन दिस is a clear cut case of resistance and i'll show you something more interesting in bank nifty remember we had a really really old trend line running from god knows when on bank nifty now this is now <coughs> going and touching the bottom of that trend line and it is showing rejection from the bottom of the trend line right today i mean i didn't draw this trend line of course now it was always there uh, uh earlier but somehow the point of rejection is exactly precise number 1 
Number two, we should not uh, judge weekly candles early on at the beginning of the week. But if Nifty sticks around around this level till Friday, this is going to form a bearish harami because it's a perfect bearish harami, right? If Nifty sticks around at this level or even drops a little bit. In fact, if Nifty closes anywhere below 16700 or 16750 on Friday, this week in week's close, it will form a bearish harami and it might just mean things will happen. Of course, view is invalidated if this line is crossed, right? But if Nifty is going to close somewhere around this level, <coughs> around this Friday, then we have a reversal candle formed and a clean bearish harami because it's a huge green candle with the resistance on top. With the, but, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm saying all of this because there's a setup coming for Thursday and we all have to anticipate what is going to happen for Thursday, right? So Nifty important level, bank nifty important level, USDNR yeah, up to what love RBA is doing, rupee bachao on the uh, But let's see. So this is the most important point. Resistance in the zone of 16,700-16,800, Federal Reserve event on Wednesday night. Market may not move before that exercise caution. Now let's look at option chain. Option chain everybody sold calls, clearly. <laughs> Today is a complete call selling day, but important point, 16,500 calls were unwound, puts were un unwound. And look at this, right, 20 million calls, 3 million, 2 and a half million puts, it's massively bearish <coughs> daily activity. Overall, PCR is still looking 1.1, but we have to admit that this option chain has changed a lot from July 22nd. This was a bullish option chain. This is no longer a bullish option chain. This is a very even Steven option chain with resistance at 16700, but a lot of unwinding at 16500, which is making me wonder, chal kya hai? right? So, <coughs> put unwinding at 16500 call addition massively on monday well, option chain is bearish pcr is 1.1 but that is but around atm puts and calls are even so i always say this pcr alone does not mean anything you have to look at what is happening around the atm right now let's look at FIA option data. This is the surprise. This is going to be the massive, massive surprise. FIA option data was looking very bullish on Friday, but look at how it turned. On Friday, we had more calls than put. Now we have much more puts than calls. Suddenly it is 80. There are 2x the number of uh, puts as calls. Uh, and that is because they sold 40k puts and bought sorry 40k calls and bought 50k puts today that is crazy and stocks 1000 crore sell futures 1000 crore sells now now FIA is like very clear now what to do so let's write it down 2x puts <coughs> as calls massive put buying of 50k and call selling or is it reverse of 40k on Monday very bearish right very very bearish I mean this is very bearish because the last last Monday we saw the ultra of this happening on calls front and look at how ma market rallied right so nearly 1000 crore sell or is it let, let's just be precise right how much is it 986 crore I mean 1000 crores yeah. here 990 crores sell bearish FIA stock data is nearly 900 crores sell right yeah, 8, 844 crores, 844 CR sell, bearish, and verdict is, see the thing is, it's a bearish market, if there was no event I would have said ki boss market is bearish, uh, so I'm not, I'm going to say not bullish, might be bearish after Fed event, see the thing is this right, even if market is looking bearish now you can't really do anything about it till thursday right or you can take a directional bet ki boss main to gamble karega fed ke baad market footega isliye i'll take calls from now itself is a very legitimate way of thinking if you want to do that you can do that right but i don't i definitely don't want to buy market at this level absolutely not call buying i i, I would still hold my long term sold calls and all because you know long term events are uh, long term uh, positions are a little bit event independent right but if you so if there is one thing you should not do now that is to buy call 
सेल कॉल मे बी अ गुड आइडिया बिकॉज थर्सडे तक शायद कुछ नहीं होगा एंड मार्केट माइंड जस्ट डिप बिफोर दैट राइट सो इन द सेंस मे बी सेल कॉल्स विथ लाइट पोजिशन साइज नाउ एब्सोल्यूटली नो ऑप्शन बाइंग ऑप्शन बाइंग might not make sense especially puts i mean it could but i just don't want to get into the business of taking ma- massive positional calls before um, uh before a fed event right so that said let's quickly look at what our friend in singapore is doing are our friend in singapore said 16600 matlab wohi hai to again right this is my point i don't think there is going to be a massive market move before thursday market yahi rahega time pass karega so agar aap otm calls ya put kharidoge to almost 100% guaranteed that you will lose money otm call selling might make sense put selling if you are really brave it can make sense but after looking at the defi data i don't want to go anywhere near put selling uh, so so i'm going to say sell calls with light position size right now no put sell no call by no future trades option buying might not say makes sense especially puts because of even but having said that on thursday or on wednesday if you want to do hero zero you can try buying puts after friday when kya pata kuch ho jaye but Wednesday evening tak you can't expect anything to happen market is going to wait till federal reserve ka meeting gets over right so my view right now is i'm not going to get into uh, buying puts or buying calls i might sell calls with light position size joking at the option chain fi data charts etc etc i don't want to get into futures trading right now because it's a little tricky with you know it's a, it's not going to move out right and you have to do futures by if you have big directional move so overall light positions in some selective sell calls is my idea uh, justice is ask, justic is asking why no future rate yeah because future pe paise hone ke liye aapko thoda lamba move chahiye hoga matlab if you are doing 50 day 50 point 100 point intraday move and all it's fine but i don't really um, want to get into that business because you know i my style is not that i try to capture slightly bigger movements without you know taking too much stress about positional nimble trading and all that i'm not an intraday trader i mean you could do that but i i just don't have the time to look at the market uh, so i don't get to that i just you know sell calls and sit on it um but anyway so this is our analysis for today i'll try to make it short because we are getting a lot of requests for a shorter crisper briefer format so this is our uh, analysis for today by the way usd inr might zoom up after fed event if it's a negative thing but again let's not try to be economists usd inr is not a short in any case it is either long or neutral right so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow it's as usual it's not you know tips or get rich scheme or you know, whatever it is that is getting sold as snake oil these days uh, so on that note i'll take your leave as usual please take care guys and keep your capital safe